The second tactic I want to share with you is aligning product and content creation. And it really helps you to increase your e-commerce profits because lots of people get this wrong. They think that they have to create all of this SEO bullshit and 1000 social media posts around topics that have barely anything yet to do with their product. What they could do is to create content that is absolutely aligned with the product creation and that you can use for more channel than just the listings on your Amazon or in your Shopify. So let's look at that. There is a product that has more content marketing than anything else that I know, HubSpot. If you are in the B2B world, you probably have heard of the marketing automation and CRM tool called HubSpot. It helps you to organize your contact lists, build landing pages, use email series, do sales and support and all kinds of shebang in the B2B world. And they have really outdone themselves. As I said, like there's no reasonable limit to how much content you can create for a single product. And if you check out hubspot.com slash resources, you will see what I mean. They are creating literally hundreds of eBooks, of articles, of online courses, of posters, helpful guides for a single product called HubSpot. So where's your stuff? <laughs> and I just wanted to give you a checklist of, of things that you can do. Let's look at them and look at the whole list and then talk about concrete examples from the case studies that I've already shown you before. Every product deserves these kinds of content yeah? and more. There are pictures. So pictures you need in a ton of ways. You need pictures for your product shots um, that are just clean, just showing the products. You need them with atmosphere. You need them with people on it, without people on it, with messages on them. You need all kinds of pictures and graphics. And what I want you to do is when you create a picture, use it as often as you can. When you have a product shooting, I'm so angry when people go out with those five perfect product shots when they should have come out with 50 shots, five awesome products, but 45 that are worthy for social media, that are advertising friendly, uh, that are in formats like, like, like vertical and landscape and square. Um, I want you to go, to go wild and broader in that area. And while you have this whole uh, setup for your pictures, why not also, beside pictures, create some videos? Videos are what's needed in 2020. If you do not embrace videos in this day and age, you are leaving real money on the table. Why is it so important? Video is so much more salient, we would say in psychology. I had those in this, this analogy that I wanted to tell you it doesn't work really. Imagine you're looking at the picture of a dog, yeah, and then you're scared of dog, and now you have to watch a video of a scary dog. The video makes you much, much more afraid. A game like Resident Evil, where you have to fight a dog, would be even more salient. Yeah, so pictures are fine. They're beautiful. Everything, I love them. But videos can be so much more powerful. And if you put humans in videos, they become automatically much more authentic because you can fake everything in a picture. You can fake just a little bit in video you can fake nothing on a live stream like this. Yeah, I, I'm just the way I am. If I misspell something or if I'm saying so a couple of hundred times, that's me. I can't fake it. And that increases the authenticity, makes it more salient and people are more likely to engage with you. Then you need lots of descriptions. Those descriptions should be the baseline or built on top of articles. But there can be hundreds of articles based on the descriptions about your products. I want to see a how-to. How do I use your product? I want to see it as a PDF to download. I want to see it as a, as a video tutorial. I want to see it in pictures. I want to see it in text. I want to see it as a slide deck. If you have a product that needs a lot of explanation, slides are your friend. 
this format that we're doing right here with some slides here on that side and me on the other side explaining to you the intricacies of storytelling in e-commerce slides are our friend yeah then you can interview people people who have used your product people who have created your product people who are in the area uh, in the in the industry of your product you can write ebooks you can even create paid courses on how to use your product and this is one of the most popular break even funnel things creating a course attracts people that refunds the ca the cash that is invested that then sells the product behind that product not as popular in e-commerce but very popular in the b2b world then there is email what about all of those articles and pictures and videos that you took don't they deserve to be sent by email uh, to your customer list can't they help you to build an email list they should also end up in in ads you can you can even talk about your product on conferences i would love to hear sandro the founder of Klarheit, speaking on on open conferences about his philosophy how he created that i would just suck that up because i'm completely within that audience so let's look at some real world examples how to do it again let's let's take this client example you can check them out at halloclient.de really beautiful product well crafted an amazing team a small nice team about it but very powerful team here you can see client has the calendar they have several products but we are talking about the client calendar now as a simple product picture white background very clean fits with their brand but for example amazon requires you to do such a clean picture like that it has to have a white background but you could also create a product video like this one this is client as product video very focused and centered around this product no humans um, really visible you can check it out on this with this amazon link but then we also have Sandro, the founder of Klarheit, standing in front of the camera and explaining how to use Klarheit. There are many different tools within this coaching calendar and all of those tools can be explained and there can be examples and case studies about how people filled it out, what was helpful, what was not helpful, what are like tips and best practices to use it. This is Klarheit as an article. They have written many articles on their blog. For example, this is Klarheit within the context of the current pandemic. Yeah, and they write articles about that and how their product can help you to stay in touch with yourself and your values and your goals. Then this is Klarheit as a PDF download. This is actually the Klarheit like wallpaper calendar, but there is an actual PDF where you can get the complete Klarheit if you give your email address for it and then you end up in a nurturing series and this was the most successful lead magnet that i have built for client uh, back in the days when we worked together then a new product client as an online course here you can buy a six-week online coaching for 129 euro in an e-commerce experience and then after that an e-learning experience the calendar costs 35 but for the people who are in that process of working on themselves investing 129 euro into a more immersive experience with videos and tools and guidebooks is absolutely reasonable and it can increase the customer lifetime value immensely it's absolutely not to squeeze money out of people it's about fulfilling the purpose that he set for himself that began with one product and then can stair step into different levels of support so that's what i mean by every product deserves content now you could argue like how am i supposed to do this with 50 to 60 products and i would ask yourself do you really need 50 to 60 products shouldn't you take the time to tell the story that is worth telling about the products who are being who are worth being sold maybe both sides uh, are correct but i think i've seen more entrepreneurs being successful with single products than with a portfolio 
John Lennon is a good example where a portfolio a way of, of business can, can work quite well. Think about your product. Think about how all the pieces that you have to create for your product anyways can contribute to many channels, not just your product listing, but to your email list, to your ads, to all that good jazz. So that concludes that part of this meetup. Aligning your products with the content creation process saves a ton of time and it makes your product marketing a lot more impactful. So the last part that we're going to talk about is how to grow your organic channels with the help of ads. We do that in the next part.